A pair of semi-detached houses near Gateshead, a prototype look at hydrogen homes. But the whole point is how ordinary they do look and how, in theory, small changes will make a big difference. So, Peter, this is 100% hydrogen cooker. A visible change, the cooker has orange flames instead of the blue of natural gas. An invisible change, the boiler is only sending water vapour into the atmosphere. There are no carbon emissions here. The plan is that millions of existing homes could keep their old radiators and just switch to a hydrogen boiler and cooker. Obviously, this is a demonstration of a stepping stone to start the journey for decarbonisation. We realise there are things like production that we need to ramp up, we need to get the supply chain involved, the appliance manufacturers are ready for mass production. We need a clear signal from the government to start this journey on. The government knows it'll have to subsidise things initially, but wants up to a third of our energy consumption hydrogen-based by 2050. Once you get going with the hydrogen economy, the cost of actually producing that hydrogen will come down. And I think that will actually, in the long run, lead to lower bills. Hydrogen-powered vehicles are already on the move in some countries, but questions remain over where we're going, because green hydrogen is made from renewables, cheaper blue hydrogen is made from fossil fuels. The government needs to manage this whole process extremely carefully to ensure that we're not locked into high emissions hydrogen that uh, other countries aren't interested in and actually become something of a drag on UK ambition. The ambition begins with a mix. Back near Gateshead, this blending plant has just started putting 20% hydrogen into the existing gas supply of 600 houses. At that dilution, they don't even need new appliances. The next step, possibly again here in the northeast, will be switching 1,000 homes and businesses to a full hydrogen supply. Change is slowly coming to the boil. Peter Lane. Five News.